I need to install Streamlit with an Anaconda as fast as possible, else, else they'll think I'm a fraud as a data engineer, and they'll fire me. You were just an imposter all along. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, okay. I'll just open an Anaconda Navigator, go in my environments, check out the non-installed packages, and search for Streamlit. Wait, this isn't the latest version. If I check the Anaconda Cloud where the packages are downloaded from, there are different Streamlit packages from different owners and not with the same versions. Conda Forge has the most downloads and it has the Conda name in it. It should be fine, right? I'll add the Conda Forge channel in Navigator, click on Streamlit and install it in the base environment. Don't do it! Why not, dear data scientist colleague who is probably better suited for the job? Mm. Installing every Python package in base environment. I would do this when I was a fresh undergrad student. There was this teaching assistant at university I really liked. He was fun, never judgmental, always telling us, Don't worry, I've got the solution, it's going to be fine. I would blindly follow all this teacher's advice. But then came this fateful evening. When I tried to upgrade Pandas and it asked if I wanted to upgrade a lot of the packages in my base environment, I didn't give it any second thoughts. Just do it. Then I went to my navigator, tried to run Jupyter Notebook and... Nothing. I had no clue, I kept pressing the damn button and then I the navigator would just judge me. Should I migrate to Colab? Should I reinstall Pandas? Should I call my teaching assistant in the middle of the night and cry for help? Then I forced myself to Google it instead of calling Teach. I began reading about the difference between Conda and Pip. I learned that breaking base environment was a bad thing. That teacher forgot to tell me. I came to a Stack Overflow page saying to reinstall the whole Anaconda distribution, which I did. It, it was a disaster. I should have called Teach instead. Moral of the story. Never believe anything on the internet, especially Stack Overflow. Wait, that's not what you're supposed to get out of the st Anyway, I created a new environment with Python 3.8. I activated it by selecting it, looked again for Streamlit in my non-installed packages in the Conda Force channel, checked the box, and applied it to install Streamlit. Since you're here, I usually install Python packages with a pip install. But if I install through Anaconda Navigator, it will run Anaconda install from Anaconda Cloud. What's the difference between a conda and a PyPy package? I install all Python packages with pip, and I use conda for all non-Python packages like git, mongo, wget, or redis. I just remember, as long as you stick to installing everything with conda or everything with pip, you'll be okay. And in any case, you can destroy and recreate a new environment if anything goes wrong, except for base. Okay. I'll install with pip then. I have a secret method to install packages with pip in a conda environment that will surely impress the manager. If I press on the arrow next to an environment, it recommends me an option to open a terminal with the selected conda environment activated. When I'm inside that terminal, I can pip install Streamlit. And if there are any installation problems, I would see the logs immediately. Then using the power of browsing the folders in the command line, I will navigate to my Streamlit folder and run the Streamlit run script.py command. Or I can use my IDE like VS Code or PyCharm. As long as I tell it to use the correct Conda environment, it should be alright. There, manager will be proud of me. Why didn't you just install it in base environment? That's what I do. The actual way I do it, and recommend all my students do, is to not install the big boom 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 Anaconda distribution, it's got way too many data science packages you'll never use. Instead, use the smaller distribution called Miniconda. It only installs the conda command you can use to create environments and install packages. It doesn't come with Anaconda Navigator, but you don't need that. Get into the habit of copy-pasting commands from the readme, it's less prone to error. Open an Anaconda Anaconda prompt, a command line linked to your conda environment, and create a new environment with a cool name and a python version installed. Activate the environment and the name should appear in brackets on the left. Pip install whatever packages you need in the environment like pandas, streamlit, matplotlib, hug. Then edit the script with notepad++ or vs code or any code editor and run the script from the command line. 
keep it open. As long as you don't close the window or stop the process with Ctrl C, you can edit your script and see the results in real time. Now that you're a command line expert, your streamlit is running, you are ready to play with all of the streamlit widgets.